my blanket. It was 3.30 this morning. I wasn't sleeping well, so I said, let's pull the yarn out, right? So this is how it turned out. I'll back all the way up so you can see the length of it. Oops, there we go. What do you think? Let's do a close-up. So crosshatch is my favorite crochet stitch. I think it's just a lovely stitch. You get a lovely kind of scalloped edge. You don't have to put any edging on it because it gives you a nice a nice straight line and a nice edging around here. I, I just think it's so pretty. But let's look at the way the colors went here. Uh, you watched me struggle when I had to get more yarn to match. What do you think? I have a little bit of an issue of it. Like these here, these, this is two rolls of yarn. Let me, I'm gonna pan out a little bit, hold on. There we go. Like this is two rolls of yarn weaved together. And the colors are pretty much spot on when they were lined up because every time the color changed, we got a nice clean row with that, you know? When we came into the new yarn here, it started changing a bit. Um, you could start to see here that it was offset and it was offset by a bit because this may not be the best example. Let me find you another one. There, there's this long blending of colors that goes for a row or two. It's, and this one is maybe the easiest to see. Don't know how well it's coming out on the film. You know, like this, you're seeing the two of them blended together. And I don't think it's a bad look by any means. I have done blankets with that kind of, you know, two different yarns on purpose to, cre to create that that look, you know? But this wasn't what I wanted for this blanket. I liked the way they cleanly went into one another. So because this was offset, it did this different kind of a bleed through with the, you know? I don't think it's awful. I think it's a very, very pretty blanket nonetheless. I guess at a distance you can't even tell, and maybe when I have it draped over the sofa, you'll be able to tell even less. But anyway, I think it still turned out really pretty. But you know what, though? I still have two more rolls of yarn, right? Because when you were shopping with me, I doubt you kept track like I kept track. But I have these two rolls of yarn left. I don't need them on the blanket. The blanket is long enough now. So um, these are going to be double weaved together, and it's probably going to be some kind of a scarf. I don't know if I'm going to do an infinity scarf or probably more of a shawl because I tend to like something I can wrap around myself, you know. Uh, and there's Julia. Hi. I'm showing you Lana's bedroom. Why? Because it is now, it is now Lana's blanket. Look, it made Lana's bed. It looks beautiful. This is um, one of the other quilts that I made for her. She chose the fabrics. Look at it. It's like perfect for her bed. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. See you in the next video. Toodles.